All right, here's where it gets interesting. Let's put some of what you've been learning in math to use here in science, because math is a great tool for science. Without math, science wouldn't know half of what it knows. So we're going to go to quests, and we're going to our environmental stewardship quest. And, um, okay, it's not here yet, because I'm recording the video now, but right around here, there's going to be a graphing your data uh, assignment. You're going to click on that. It's going to give you a link to Google Sheets and to the data. Open those two. In Google Sheets, create a new blank sheet and call it Fall 2020 uh, Chimicum Creek. And then the next thing you're going to write is your parameter. So let's say you are dissolved oxygen. You can just write DO. All right. Then we're going to go over here. And here you have the DO with the dates and all the data we've collected. Now, even if we're adding more data, you can start graphing it now, and you can add more uh, as we get more. Um, but we're, we've got plenty. We can see some patterns with this much data. So I'm going to start by labeling my two columns. Uh, the first column is going to be the um, dates. And then the second column is going to be DO. And in parentheses, I'm going to put the unit of measure milligrams per liter. That's really helpful. Now to copy the dates, okay, this is going to get tricky. I can highlight it like this and copy them all. I'm just going to control C to copy. And then when I paste it in here, you know, look what happens. So I'm just going to have to go cut, which is control X, paste, cut and paste. You know, it's not ideal, but it works. There. Now, you probably guessed it. We're going to do the same exact thing, only this time with the data. Oh, boy. So here we go. Go all the way to the last day we have data. Control-C to copy. And we're going to do Control-V to paste. I'm going to paste it sideways. So we click on each one. Control-X to cut. Control-V to paste. There. Whew. Okay. Now, just like Mr. Brennan has showed you, you're going to highlight uh, your data table, and we're going to click on Insert Chart. Now, for uh, looking at data over time, you want to do a line graph because that shows you uh, what's going on. And this one puts, like Mr. Brennan said, we want the time on the x-axis at the bottom because that is the variable that is, is changing. It's called the manipulated variable or the independent variable. That one always goes on your first column. Manipulated variable, independent variable, which means it always goes on the x-axis. Then the second column of a data table is your measured variable. It's, it's your dependent variable. It's the one that's dependent on what changes, which is time. So you've got your data uh, on the second column, which puts it on the y-axis, the, the vertical axis, which is your responding variable. So we got our manipulated variable, or independent, and our responding variable, or dependent. Now I'm going to uh, make my title a little better. I'm going to take this, oops, no, undo. Control Z is really helpful. I'm going to take this and cut it out of there and call this uh, dissolved oxygen levels in Timicum Creek. That is really specific. 
And then I'm going to click under Chart Title and Axis. See how I can change things? Like the chart subtitle. I'm going to give it a subtitle. I'm going to put DO uh, in milligrams per liter versus the dates. Now the horizontal axis title is dates, and that's perfect. I want to leave it that way. And like Mr. Brennan says, check for tail. The L in tail is make sure you have your labels. So we've got our title and subtitle, which is T. And we've got our label for the horizontal or X axis. And we've got our label for our vertical or Y axis, which is DO. And in parentheses, I put milligrams per liter because you need the unit of measurement. And then everything else looks good. You are now done. You can now take this and you can download a PNG image of your chart and this you can share on anything. You can put it on a blog post, uh, you can send it to people. Um, this is where you get to look at how the data has changed just this fall from when we started September 28th through November 13th. And there you have it, folks. That is how you create a graph for uh, what we've done so far in the fall, current DO levels.